I've got a fish. I've got a fish. Not sure who. I got something. He's hit. Oh yeah, he's fighting. He's fighting. Hit one of these tubes, one of these grubs. Let's see what we got here. Well, folks, I'm over here in a backwater of Old Hickory Lake. The weather was 60 degrees or more last week. Then we had four inches of snow. So to say we have a cold front come through is an understatement. The white bass and yellow bass were running up into the creeks. I'm going to try my luck here. I'll try a little with this little curly tail grub here with the underspin. Got it on a little ultralight ice fishing rod just for the kicks and giggles. Cast around this, then I'll try something else a little later. Let's see if I can pull something out from under here. Folks, I'm out here today. I'm using a uh, Shakespeare Ugly Stick. It's an ice fishing rod. Got a real limber tip on it. And it's compact. Obviously, it's for ice fishing in an ice fishing shack, but I thought I'd get one to give it a try. Fishing in close to the bank for little guys. I've got a Lose Speed Spin LLS 50A reel on here. It's a tiny little reel. Got some four pound test. I'm just after little guys anyway. Got a little underspin with a grub on it, curl tail grub. Got about a, a little split shot about eight inches up to give it some casting weight. Because without that, it just you just couldn't get out there. This re, this rod isn't really meant for casting. It's for fishing straight down under ice. You don't need any length. But I thought I'd give it to try just for a little bit of fun. Because catching a, a decent sized, even a little bluegill on this is enjoyable. You give up a good fight on almost super ultra light tackle here I want my channel to be about a, a variety of fishing techniques one of the things I wanted to aim towards is folks who don't want to spend a lot of money don't have a lot of time and or money to go out and go fishing so you can get into it with some small inexpensive gear still have a good time Got a double double jig rig here under a float. Got a Bobby Garland on top. Got blue and some chartreuse in it. And then on the bottom I've got a pink chartreuse tube jig. Using the chartreuse because the water's a little stained today. I'm gonna sweeten the pot a little bit by putting some of these Potsky crappy fireballs on the hook, just tip the hook with a fireball, pink fireball. On each one of these, adds a little color, a little taste, a little scent. There's enough ripple on the water to keep these guys jigging. Maybe something will be interested in them. I don't even see it anymore. I don't see it. Got a fish. Got a fish. I sure do. I got something. He's hit. Oh yeah, he's fighting. He's fighting. Hit one of these tubes, one of these grubs. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. Hey, largemouth bass. Some kind of bass. Bass, bass. Hit that bottom tube jig. How about that? Little fella. No tongue patch. Nope. Smooth. 
the line along his tail here is not broken up, so it's not a spotted bass, it's a largemouth. Thin little bass. But hey, it's a fish. Look at that. Ditch pickle, some people call them, but there's a largemouth bass up in here. I sure am happy to have that. Got one out of here today on a little pink and chartreuse tube jig. Floating under a bobbing under a float. Let's get him back. There you go. Zoom. Zoom, he says. All right. Well, a fish is a fish is a fish, and I'm glad I got one. Conditions have been nothing but tough, let me tell you. A week ago, it was 60. Two days ago, it was in the 20s with four inches of snow. It is not good for the fishing. Let's see if I can catch something with this crappie magnet and curl tail grub. This is shallow over here. It's got more sunlight on this gravel bank. It's a shallow, gently sloping gravel bank. And the sun's been on it better part of the day which is going to heat the water up over here more than over there where I was and that could attract some fish just for the warmer water 